In this video, we'll show you how to assemble your new DeWalt 10 cubic foot swivel cart. Begin by aligning the hitch bracket, part 9, with the front tongue, part 4. Then fully secure it with 2 3 8 by 1 inch bolts, part C, and 2 3 8 inch nylock hex nuts, part M. Next, insert the 1 and 3 quarter inch clevis pin, part T, and secure it with the 5 seconds inch hair cotter pin, part Y. Now align the stand bracket, part 11, and fully secure it with two 5 16 by 1 inch bolts, part F, and two 5 16 inch not like hex nuts, part J. Next, slide the foot pedal latch, part 10 down through the slot in the rear of the tongue, part 5. Insert the 5 16 by 3 inch bolt, part H, with the long spacer, part CC, on each side of the pedal. Secure it with a 5 16 inch nylock hex nut, part J. Now align the assemblies and fully secure them with a 3 8 by 3 and 1 quarter inch bolt, part E, and a 3 8 inch nylock hex nut, part M. Then insert the 3 inch clevis pin with the loop, part U, and secure it with a 3 32 inch hair cotter pin, part X. Next, secure the extension spring, part DD, using the spring puller, part EE. Now, slide the half inch by 1 and 1 8 inch bolt, part A through the 21 30 seconds by one and a quarter inch by 19 30 seconds inch washer, part P. Slide the bolt through the clevis, part 12, and align it with the tongue. From below, slide on the 17 30 seconds by one and a half inch by 9 64 inch washer, part O, and a half inch lock washer, part R. Secure the assembly with a half inch jam nut, part L. Now slide the 5 16 by one inch screw, part AA through the short spacer, part BB, and insert it into the tongue. Secure it with a 5 16 inch nylock hex nut, part J. Now, press the two 1 inch plugs, part Z, into the frame, part 2. You can also use a rubber mallet to tap them in if necessary. Then assemble four 3 8 by 1 and 3 quarter inch truss head bolts, part I, and four 3 8 by 1 and a quarter inch by 1 16 inch washers, part N. Now insert them through the bed. Then align the frame with the poly bed part one and secure it with four 3 8 inch nylock hex nuts part M. Next align the axle part three and secure it with two half inch by two and three quarter inch bolts part B and two half inch nylock hex nuts part K. Then align the tongue assembly and secure it with a half inch by three and a quarter inch hex bolt, part S, and a half inch nylock hex nut, part K. For ease of installation, place a block of wood or something similar under the front lip to raise the bed up. Next, align each handle assembly, part 8, and secure it with two 3 8 by two and a half inch bolts, part D, and two 3 8 inch nylock hex nuts, part M. Now align the handle support plate part 7 and secure it with 4 5 16 by 1 and 1 half inch bolts part G. And 4 5 16 inch nylock hex nuts part J. Next insert a 2 inch cotter pin part V into the axle and bend open the ends to secure it. Then slide on a 1 inch SAE washer part Q followed by a wheel part 6. Then slide on a 1 inch SAE washer part Q 
and secure the assembly with a 2-inch cotter pin, Part V. Repeat for the other side. 